What's good out there, y'all? It's Ricky Tice, the man, the truth of NYC. Man, I had some bad experiences living in my new home in New Jersey. I thought I transitioned over to get away from the bullshit, but I'm not. Keep coming across these bum ass women with nothing to give, nothing to offer, but BS, cheap liquor, and the fuckery that they say. The bullshit. Straight up bullshit. I thought I'd be meeting nice, good looking women, which I do come across, but it's to turn out to be single mothers in their late 30s, early 40s, mid 40s, late 40s, mid even in their fucking 50s. With one to two kids, ages two months to two years old. I'm like, what the fuck? I, you know what I'm saying it's out there, especially um, when I move to Jersey, right? I'm over there by um, Aviation Plaza. I went in there, applied at Blink uh, Fitness Gym because Planet Fitness was across town and I don't want to drive. And there was a buffet right next to um, to the gym, right? I went up in there, sat down, had lunch and stuff because I was in the mood for some clams, uh, mussels and sushi and some um, and mushrooms but it turned out to be the obesity in there not just from the guys but from the women and the kids they going up to the counter to pay for the for the herself her, and the two kids using their EBT card or whatever food stamp card they're using they paying for that shit and they go well sit down and fucking peg out one of them stopped me and said to me, like, hey, you know, you look very nice in your uniform and stuff. And and they asked me if I was single, what I'm doing out here and stuff. I said, I just moved out here. Got my own apartment. I never told them I got my own house. I said, I got my own one. I got my own studio apartment. And I'm just here. Not staying, passing through. As you can see, right in the back of me, yeah, that's the J train. I'm over at Broadway Junction, East New York. Still not cool, man. These brothers don't care. I mean, next thing, I don't know how they attract me. I don't attract them. These fucking dating websites, they don't really put everything out like what they do and stuff. met a 39 year old one was talking to her but she had five kids she talking about she used to be a stripper and stuff like that you're 39 the oldest is 21 the youngest is one and a half years old I had to stay I said like yo I'm not into that I'm not the man for you you're looking for a man that comes spoil you take you out and wine and dine you and marry you you're not marriage material And I tell them, I'm marriage material, but no one wants me. I really don't give a shit because I'm doing things on my own. And I'm putting my girls through college. And that's what I have to do. I provide for I provide a house for my daughters. So whenever they come home from college, instead of them going to their mother's house, they can always stay over here at my house. I mean, it's fucking ridiculous. I'm just putting out the knowledge of what I'm experiencing. I'm saying, whatever I find out there in the fucking suburbs of New Jersey and not the city is far more worse than the, the ones in the city. And believe me, these black women are, and Hispanic women, and I see some single white women, they fucking. The black women will chase a good black man away. Bar none. A Hispanic woman will keep a black man or her or a Hispanic man. They'll keep them around because 
white women I come across every now but not too many of them are too into black men some are some aren't but the black woman oh my gosh they will chase away a black man but they will open up all they will open up open arms to the white man but hey each his own I really don't give a shit cause they're not paying my mortgage they're not paying my bills I am so yeah I'm just putting out the knowledge man be back up more with more videos I'm arguing with uh, with fucking Verizon in New Jersey in my area trying to get my service on so I can actually do my online work but they taking a long ass time just to turn on my freaking phone line now I gotta switch over to go to infinity saying I'm just trying to afford what I got if I was on child support then I could afford a little bit more hopefully I fight to get my son back again so yo I'm Ricky Tice peace like share subscribe um, I'm gonna put this out there if you want to hit me up on the email or definitely on hangouts on Google hangouts um, email address is Tyson T-Y-S-O-N Ricks R-I-C-K-K-S that's two K's and an S at gmail.com definitely hit me up on the hangouts if you got anything you want me to talk about or any type of topics we, you know what I'm saying we can talk about definitely shout out on the hangouts alright peace